the human digestive system. The digestive system includes all of our body parts inside of our body that help us eat our food. We eat food because it helps give us energy and the nutrients our bodies need to work. All of our body parts in our digestive system do different things to help us eat our food and have it turn into the energy we need to do the important things we do every day. Mouth. The digestive system starts with our mouth. Food enters our mouth where we begin to chew our food so it is small enough to go down our throat. Also in our mouth is called saliva, which is a fancy word for spit. Our saliva helps us break down our food into smaller pieces and help it travel down our throat. Esophagus. Our esophagus is the second body part of our digestive system. Our esophagus is the scientific name for the tube in our throat that our food travels down after it has left our mouth. We need to make sure we chew our food well enough so it can travel down our esophagus. When our food is not chewed well enough and gets stuck in part of our esophagus, this is when we choke on our food. It is important to make sure we chew our food carefully and safely so we do not choke. So if we look at the picture over here, we can see the, the mouth and then the tube going down our throat is called our esophagus. If we don't chew our food well enough, food can get stuck in our esophagus and then we can't breathe and we end up choking. So we need to make sure we are chew chewing our food well enough. Stomach. Next is our stomach. This is where our food goes down after it has traveled down our esophagus. Inside of our stomachs, our special acids, which break down our food even more and turn it into kind of like a chemical liquid so our food can be turned into energy. So if we look at the picture over here, we can see that food would enter our mouth, go all the way down our esophagus, this tube, and then this right here is our stomach. Inside of our stomach is a special acid which helps break down our food so all the little tiny pieces of food we want to turn that into a special liquid because once it becomes a special liquid then it can be absorbed into our body better and then we can turn it into energy that we need to do the important things during the day. Intestines. After our food has been broken down by the acids in our stomach it is then sent to our intestines where our food can be absorbed. Our intestines absorb our food so that we can get the energy and nutrients we need to live. Any leftover food or nutrients which our body does not need is then turned into waste towards the end of our intestines. So we can see number three is our stomach. The food is then turned into a special liquid broken down by our stomach acids then goes into these special tubes right here called our intestines and then inside of our intestines is where that liquid gets absorbed and turns into energy and we get all the nutrients we need. Then as it goes through all the tubes any leftover food that we don't need then gets turned into waste. So our intestines are these special tubes that help absorb our food and the nutrients and turn it in the energy we need. And then any leftover food goes through these tubes and is turned into waste. The digestive system it's important that we do the right things to help keep our digestive system healthy and working properly. The two best things we can do to help keep our digestive system healthy are by eating healthy foods and exercising. Healthy foods have vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that our bodies use so it can work properly and stay healthy. Also, when we exercise, we are helping to make our muscles bigger and stronger, which also helps our digestive system stay healthy, strong, and work correctly. So to review, our digestive system includes all of our body parts which help us eat our food. We eat food so that our body can get energy and the nutrients we need to stay healthy. The best ways to keep our digestive system healthy are to eat healthy foods and exercise every day. The digestive system starts in our mouth where we chew our food into tiny pieces. Then our food leaves our mouth and goes down to a special tube in our throat called our esophagus. Once our food has traveled down our esophagus, it then enters our stomach. Our stomach has special acids inside of it to help turn our food into a liquid so that it can be absorbed better and turned into energy. Once our stomach is finished, it sends our food to our intestines 
which are special tubes so it can be absorbed into our body. Any leftover food that is no longer needed by our body is then turned into waste and then we go to the bathroom to get rid of it. So if we look at this picture over here, we would start the digestive system by eating our food. It goes in our mouth, it is mixed with the saliva, which is the fancy word for spit. It goes down this tube in our throat called our esophagus. We chew it carefully so that we don't choke and get it stuck in our esophagus. It goes down all the way down our esophagus into our stomach. In our stomach, we have special acids which help break down the tiny pieces of food into a liquid so it can be absorbed better in our intestines. Once it's done uh, in our stomachs, it then goes into these special tubes called our intestines where our food is absorbed and turns into energy and absorbs the nutrients we need. It goes through all these intestinal tubes and then any of the leftover food we don't need turns into waste and then we go to the bathroom to get rid of the waste.